Welcome to Implio, our all-in-one moderation tool built on over 20 years of moderation experience. In this video, we'll introduce you to some of the main features of our platform. Implio's landing page is also a dashboard of your account. Here you can see the statistics of your team, from total decisions to what has been approved or refused. Do you want to see your automation rate or the manual volumes? That info is available here as well. The dashboard is customizable and able to show you any time period you wish. This is an essential page when you want to quickly see how your team is doing. The Automation tab displays all the different rules and filters in your account. This is where you set up your entire moderation flow. Through rules, you define how much you automate and what goes to manual moderation. On the Automation tab, you can enable or disable rules, see when and by who they were created or last modified, and finally, you can of course edit and delete rules. Creating a new automation rule or filter cannot be easier. Just press the New Rule button. Your new rule creation has three sections. The description, where you can input the title and a small explanation of the filter purpose. The conditions, this is where you outline what you want the filter to catch. Any data you send through our API can be utilized as criteria here. If it's in your database, it can be leveraged by Implio's rules. And finally, the action. What do you want to do with what the rule caught? No action. This can be used for statistical reasons or to test a rule. Send to manual moderation. Anything caught will be routed to a moderation queue of your choosing to await moderation by a human expert. Refuse the item. This comes with a refusal reason. Like everything else, this is customizable and can provide context to your user on the reason for the rejection. Last but not least, a rule can also auto-approve content. This is useful for whitelisting content from verified users or other known legit accounts. To recap, this tab gives you control over all the different types of automation we can offer. Machine learning, custom filters, text vision and image vision AI filters. If you want to dig deeper in the rule creation process, watch our focus video on rules and automation. The manual moderation tab is where the more delicate work takes place, and also where the previous tab directs its findings to the various manual moderation queues you've created. Here you can group your content into different queues, like categories, languages, or type of content, like fraud, wrong price, or bad pictures. This organizes your manual workflow and eases your moderator's work. The queues are customizable and can be sorted by name, pending items, or longest waiting time, so you can focus on what matters most to your users. You want to create a new queue? Sure, just press the New Queue button, enter its name, and you're done. The new queue is now available in the drop-down menu in the Rule Creation tab. When looking into a queue, you'll be assigned a list of items to review. The number of items per page is configurable. The items will be locked until they're reviewed. There are three different sections in this layout, as they are customizable depending on your integration to best suit your needs. Data linked directly to the content being moderated is displayed on the left. For instance, descriptions, image, or price. While user information and location is displayed on the right. The bottom part of the item shows available moderation actions. Let's start with the user feedback. This can be used as a multi-purpose feature. You can send additional information directly to your users from here. You can advise them to improve their picture quality or correct their text. Or you can use it to take further actions in your back office, such as banning a user or blocking an email address. These are entirely customizable. Then come the three main moderation decisions. Approve, reject, or send to another queue. Each of them can be selected via mouse click or a keyboard shortcut to improve your efficiency. The last action allows you to send the item to another queue to be reviewed either by a supervisor or a colleague with adequate skills. For picture moderation, you have three additional options available. You can delete the picture, enlarge it, or modify it. The navigation bar at the bottom of the screen shows the progress of the moderation and assigns a color for each item moderated. You can quickly go back to a specific item by clicking directly on the navigation bar on the required item number. Once all items are moderated, just submit the decision and a new page will automatically load for your team to review. 
This has been a short overview of what Implio, our all-in-one tool, can do. We've built it using all our years of experience to make content moderation as easy as one, two, three, and in a one-stop shop. Want to find out more how we can assist your moderation needs? Get in touch. We have a 360-degree solution waiting for you.